carpet. Both suffered explosive outbreaks. But as infections and fatalities soared in Italy, South Korea suddenly began to turn the tide. Diagnostic capability on this scale, track an infected individual's digital footprints, mapping networks of transmission, and closing them down. Intrusive measures which in the liberal West might be deemed Kits aren't widely available fast, precious time is lost. South Korea did not go into total lockdown. Its manufacturers went into overdrive, produced rifle tests, boom tests, six hundred centuries nationwide. The greatest difficulty at the beginning of the pandemic was just being one of the very first to be hit. So we needed to write the book as we went along. Some look at the Korean case and say, oh, you have the IT infrastructure, you have the you know, universal health coverage, you have the ingredients to be successful. But I think uh, they're missing the most important element in this, which is the public's trust. Crisis response can be successful only if you are faithful to the fundamental values of your, your country. And those fundamental values uh, of our very vibrant democracy is exactly openness, transparency, and a full government accountability. Korea tried to strike a balance between control and the prevention measures and our people's daily life. We built up this example the the three T's, the testing, tracing, and the treatment are just the very basics of any disease control. When it comes to COVID-19 response, but commonly important is first solidarity and the cooperation with every member of a society. We've been getting countless requests for sharing our experience, for our test kits, for our masks, for our PPEs. I think we all know now COVID-19 is here for the long term. We have to live with the risk and manage the risk while ensuring and enabling the people to move about and respecting their fundamental human rights. The government